Okay, so let's move to step number two of the ECG interpretation, which is the rate. So we need to calculate the rate. We should always ask ourselves, is the rate normal? What is a normal heart rate? A normal heart rate is from 60 to 100. Okay, so when we calculate the heart rate, we need to ask ourselves, is it tachycardia? Is it bradycardia? Or is it normal? Okay, anything above 100 is tachycardia and anything below 60 is bradycardia. Okay, so once the R to R interval is regular, let's calculate the heart rate. Okay, as I said before, one big box is 0 0.2 seconds. So five big boxes is one second, all right? So in 60 seconds, you have five big boxes times 60, 300 big boxes, all right? So 300 big boxes corresponds with 60 seconds or one minute. Now, one R interval to the next R, uh, uh, R interval uh, is like the heart rate, okay? The beat, the one heart beat, okay? So let's see in one heartbeat how much big box it covers and we take 300 big boxes and divide by this uh, number of boxes from one R interval to the other R interval to come up with the heart rate. Okay, so as we can see, in between this R interval, this RR interval, okay, you can see that it has got two big boxes, okay, two big boxes. So you take 300, divide by two big boxes and you get the heart rate is 150. If it's three big boxes, you take 300, divide by three, and it is, the heart rate is 100. As in this case, the heart rate is 150, hence this patient is having tachycardia. Okay, so if the R to R interval is irregular, as in this ECG, as you can see, the R to R interval is irregular. So now, how do we calculate the rate? Okay, very simple. One big box is 0 0.2 seconds. Five big boxes is one second. So in this trip, we choose 30 big boxes, which corresponds with six seconds. All right. So this whole strip here, 30 big boxes is six seconds. All right. Now, then you calculate the number of R that is present in six seconds of the ECG strip. Okay, so in here there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine R's in six seconds. Now, six times ten forms one minute. All right. So the number of R's here you times by ten, which will show how what is the heart rate for one minute. Okay. So you take nine, you times ten, so it is ninety. R waves in one minute. So that so the rate is 90 beats per minute. It's that simple to calculate the heart rate for an irregularly irregular rhythm.